After that, we have a big one as well, Newcastle taking yeah. on Chelsea, seventh against ten. Yeah. This Newcastle side started the season very brilliantly. Yeah. They now get faced with almost 13 injuries. Yeah. Key injuries. Yeah. Isaac is out. Mm. Callum Wilson is out. Yeah. Sven Botman at the back is out. Yeah. Dan Burn is out. Yeah. The list goes on. Yeah. Chelsea, on the other hand, yeah. are another side that have struggled with injuries themselves. Yeah. About 80 <clears throat> members still yeah. out. Yeah. This is a battle of the second eleven, Steve. <laughs> how, do, how do both managers take, take on this game? I think, uh, Tony, you should, you maybe would have said uh, Chelsea are starting to get back their players. We see a lot of the injured players are coming in, maybe not fit enough, the likes of Fofana. But, like you said, Newcastle were flying, and we thought maybe there would be a permanent kind of a top four, but they have weathered away so quick. And for Chelsea, that 4-4 four -four against Man City, it, it's a draw at the end of the day, but it felt like maybe that is the day the good things start for Chelsea. And now going away to to St. Newcastle. James, yeah, Newcastle, I think Chelsea will have an advantage because they came from winning again uh, against Tottenham. That was a big score, 4-1. Then you draw Man City. I think Chelsea, Tony, is going to have a good goal. So even if it's the second 11, I think the Chelsea second 11 looks stronger than Newcastle. Of course, Newcastle coming into this season, we've talked about perhaps how much the Champions League football might affect them yeah. in terms of squad depth, in terms of, yeah. you know, all the issues that come in, fatigue, yeah. and we know the players have had to travel severally for these games. Yeah. And perhaps that's why we are seeing a lot of injuries. Yeah. Inside yeah. Jacob Mapp is out yeah. until the new year. They also have the issue, small issue of Dennis Hall who is come yeah. tight for this yeah. game. He's on loan from Chelsea. So they will have to see how Eddie Howe organizes his defense. Yeah. Uh, we know that perhaps Tino Libramento and Trippier will be uh, coming in as the yeah. wing backs. Then uh, there. Mm. Uh, we've seen Lascelles who has been trying brilliant, to, yeah. to yeah. been very good uh, in re in replacing Botman there at the back. This is a really makeshift Newcastle side, and yeah. the results that they've been getting, especially the last one where they lost two 0 to Bournemouth, yeah. I thought perhaps showed uh, how much they are suffering, and the coach will be mm -hmm. hoping that perhaps some of their players can return very quickly. This is a game that they come into, like you said, a lot of Chelsea players are coming back, maybe not for the game tomorrow, yeah. but like we've seen, Rhys James has already come back yeah. to the side. He might have a, a, a big, a big, good, yeah. Yeah, big uh, chunk of the game to play there. We've seen, like you said, Fofana is back in training. Yeah. We've seen Koko also yeah. trying to yeah. you know, get yeah. back on the grass. So it will give Chelsea a lot of hope yeah. going into the next set, perhaps next three to four fixtures. When they come to St. James Park, yeah. But on the back of all those big scores that they've been having, four against Newcastle, uh, Spurs, four against Man City, and we also saw a, a four, four and against Burnley, Burnley yeah, yeah. Uh, in the last they've past four games, four, 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 scoring a lot yeah. of goals. When they come into a game uh, like this with a makeshift defense for Newcastle, yeah. I suspect there might be more goals <laughs> as well in this particular fixture. Yeah, there'll be more goals because when you look at uh, the sensational Palma, he wants to be part of everything and he's starting to be like the key man in that Chelsea team. He wants to team. be the young player of the other uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you look at that, maybe because uh, Trippier might be drafted into the left back, you, you know, he's bright enough to handle almost every player, Trippier. So you might think he will handle Palmer, but Chelsea's firepower, for me, I think, will be enough to outdo Newcastle. Certainly, it will be very interesting to see how Ed Howe does a lot of at our points, of course, everything points to Mauricio Pochettino yeah. continuing his momentum with this third, uh, Chelsea side, trying to match from 10th is not where they really want yeah, to be, yeah. especially without <laughs> the, the, the inconveniences of European football. So I think they have enough in this particular fixture, even if they are away from home, I've gone for 2-1 uh, New Chelsea to win. I've also gone for the same, Tony. I think 2-1 uh, Chelsea. Big one, that, that game as well at St. James Park, kicking off at 6 PM, you can't afford to miss it. Chelsea trying to cont continue with their momentum. And Newcastle, of course, perhaps showing that they have a squad deep enough to contend with the issues that they face. Don't go away. We have a late kickoff after this. <laughs> 